Hello guys, in this video, let's create ASP.NET Core web app in Visual Studio. Well, we want to add Azure AD authentication to our ASP.NET Core web app, which is running in Visual Studio. Okay. So basically what we want to do is, so again, guys, we have this user. Okay. And we have this app or ASP.NET Core web app, which is running in Visual Studio. Okay. So I'll say this is my ASP.NET Core web app and it's running in Visual Studio. But ideally in real life, it will be deployed in IIS or it will be hosted in Azure app service. Okay. So of course we don't want every user to have access to this web app, right? So what we have is we have this Azure AD over here. That is its Azure Active Directory. And again, as we have discussed, it is our user store or it contains users information. So when this users try to access this application, this application, it will say, please authenticate yourself against Azure AD. So request will be redirected to our Azure AD. And again, it contains users information. So user one, user two, like that. So user will authenticate himself against Azure AD. And if the authentication is successful, a token will be written over here. So again, it is JWT token, JWT token. Right. So let's again go back to our PPT. Now, while creating project itself, we will select option that is enable Azure AD authentication and our app it will have just two simple HTML pages one index.cs HTML and it will show welcome to index page and another is admin.cs HTML so it will show welcome to admin page so obviously we in our upcoming videos we will modify our app such that this index.cs HTML it will be accessible to every user but this admin.cs HTML only admin users should be able to access that page. And of course, for that we will add roles as well. Okay. Again, so that is for upcoming videos. Now, in this specific video, we will, we will just have a look at this code, which is specific to Azure AD authentication. That is, this is just a skeleton code. I will take you through this code, but we will not configure Azure AD authentication as of now. Okay, so in this video, we will run this code and we will configure Azure AD authentication step by step in our upcoming videos. So now let's go to the Visual Studio. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and here I will say ASP.NET Core Web App. Let's say next. Let's give name. So I will say Azure AD for ASP.NET Core. Here I will say next. First, we don't need HTTPS, so I will unselect this and go and guys now important thing under authentication type, we will select this Microsoft identity platform and now let's say create. If you get this message that is required components and if it, if it asks you, you can try installing it and if you cannot, you can simply say cancel. Let's close this. So you can see our project is ready. And now let me open this program.cs file. So let's open it. So guys observe this line number 11 and 12. So that code, it is specific to Azure AD authentication and it says builder.services.add authentication dot add Microsoft identity web app. That means with this code, we have added Azure AD authentication in our ASP.NET Core web app. Okay. And this code, it fetches the required configuration needed for Azure AD authentication from this section that is Azure AD. And where is this section present? So let's open this app settings.json file. And here you can see this Azure AD. So from this section, this code fetches the required configuration for Azure AD authentication. Let's go to this app settings.json again. 
and again as you expect here we have this tenant id because this asp.net core web app which we will run in visual studio we will create corresponding application or corresponding client id or corresponding app id in the tenant right in some tenant we will create it so that is the tenant id and client id it is nothing but the app id or application id okay now obviously this tenant id that is 222 and this client id 111 they do not exist right i mean they do not exist in azure so let's see what happens if we run this program as it is so let's click on this run and as expected we have got an exception right and let's see what it says so it says unable to obtain configuration from microsoft online this 2222 that means it is unable to obtain the configuration from this tenant id see again guys this 2222 is a tenant id okay and again we have discussed tenant in detail in our earlier videos so let's go back to our visual studio so again it is giving that error because there is no tenant which exists with this id right so as of now i just wanted you to make aware about this code which is specific to azure ad authentication so now in order to run this program let's simply stop it let's go back to this controllers let's open this home controller and at this index page i will simply say allow anonymous so let's save it and now let's run our program again so hopefully it will run now because we have simply removed the authentic authentication required to run this page that is this index page okay so let's run it and yes our application runs successfully okay so guys that's it for this video and in our upcoming videos let's configure azure ad authentication step by step for this application